hello everyone and once again welcome to my channel if you're new here this is cooking with shani where we talk about cooking ideas for the common african kitchen lifestyle diet and of course we do improve our self-esteem in the kitchen kindly give me a subscription if you have not done so it really means a lot to me and today i want to confess my little sins this cooker of mine is seven years old and today i want to show you how i've been maintaining it as you can see it's a bit dirty and greasy though uh, i really try my best to keep it clean that's why it has not accumulated a lot of dirt so i'm going to show you how i clean the banners and the grates and also the shiny uh, stainless steel surface actually it was one of the considerations that i had when i was purchasing this that it had to have a good uh, stainless steel surface so that my cleaning would be easier so i'm beginning by removing the grates then i will now remove the burner pads and then i will remove the burners so the grates is actually the part that sits directly over the gas burners to provide a stable surface to support cookware when you're cooking and then the burners is the small metal part that the flame comes out of or from so i'll begin by removing these pads and keeping them aside and after that now i am going to take away the the burners as you can see my first burner is the bigger one and there is a bit of rusting over there of course it's old then there is a bit of pre precipitation i think from the reaction of salts from the last cleaning this second one is quite dirty i think there was some spillage of something when i was cooking we also have the third one that is not really badly off but we are still going to clean it and of course finally the fourth one so i am going to show you step by step what i do to ensure these pieces are very clean all the time so i have my basin here ready with me and to this i'm just going to add a half a cup of my white bleach whatever bleach you are using yes the bleach that you use to wash your clothes the sodium hypochlorite eh? the chlorine based bleach so i'm going to add to this about one and a half liters of water and once everything is set up i'm actually just going to take my burners and soak them in here overnight so i would really advise somebody to do this exercise at night after you are done with your cooking then the first thing in the morning you now clean this especially on a weekend this is a very ideal practice that can actually make your work easy in maintaining your cooker cleanliness so friends this is actually the next day in the morning and this is what i'm having so i'm just going to take my scotch bright and this is what i'll be using to scrub my burners this thing can actually scrub away even your curses it is a very good one and the water here is very cold you can optionally use gloves to do your scrubbing if you want to protect your hands from the chemical or the cold but it is very optional so if you're a fearless gen z like me you'll just go ahead and add your soap a liquid soap to the water and start the scrubbing process there is no harm in doing this as well you use general soap whatever soap you have whether the bath soap whether the liquid whether the scouring um, mixture or whether it's the powder soap whatever soap you just use in cleaning your kitchen um, utensils you can just use it now to clean this so i'm going to do one fine scrub and in this first scrub i'm just going to ensure i am getting rid of all the visible stains on these banners before finally discarding that water and giving it a second good cleansing and this second cleaning 
will basically be what I am just doing to ensure there is no chemical residue from the cleaning action of our white bleach. The second scrub also just ensures the surfaces are much more shiny in nature because this is now the first rinse that we are doing and trying to make these banners chemical free so i'm just going to clean my basin and now do a third and a final rinse to this and i'm also going to do this while scrubbing so this scrubbing procedure is something you do on and on until you ensure that you have your desired level of cleanliness basically as to your liking or your satisfaction and after this i'm just going to do another final rinse and this one i promise you guys it will be the last one i'm going to do a final rinse and after i rinse this i will now be wiping this with a dry cloth so that uh, uh, my banners just dry up in good time so i'm going to wipe everywhere keenly one by one and once i am done i will just set this aside to dry i actually need to prepare my breakfast after this as my banners are drying up i'm just going to use some soapy water and a damp cloth to clean around my stainless steel surface because this is a practice i do every day there is no much scrubbing so i will clean and even clean my glass cover and clean all the corners so well all the confined constricted and narrow spaces i'm also ensuring that they are clean so i'm also extending this a bit to my to my knobs and cleaning my oven is a whole different video that i will do another time so my banners are dry and i'm actually returning them in place followed by the pads the banner pads that i am actually wiping gently before returning them to their position and after this i'm actually going to wipe my grates because i also do this daily so i don't need harsh cleaning conditions it's just wiping them with a piece of damp cloth that is soapy to just get rid of any form of grease and i'm also going to do this for my second grit and actually balance it uh, on top of the banners and actually after doing this i am done friends and my cooker is just as clean as i wanted as you know my cooker is all gas but i am thinking of uh, making a different investment soon around this so uh, thank you for watching me. I hope you've learned something new. Please remember to subscribe and like my video. Until next week. Bye bye. Enjoy your weekend.